Hey gang, I'm Mr. Phil. This is Good Rats Hair Workshop, and you are watching Rat Chat, episode 45. Before I start really getting into this episode, I noticed there's a disturbing trend with Rat Chat episodes. And that disturbing trend is I usually wait to do an episode around this time of the year, once a year, every year. Because this is the third time that I have come in front of the camera and recorded Rat Chat with a year's time from the previous episode. And that has to stop. I promise you that will stop. I don't quite know what the schedule is going to be yet of regular Rat Chat episodes. However, back in the day, I used to film Rat Chat on every Monday and you would see the new episode every Wednesday. That might not be as feasible as it once was because life nowadays is a lot busier. A lot has changed since those early episodes of Rat Chat. However, in an ideal Good Rats universe where I have all the time in the world, I would produce weekly content for you once again. And maybe that's the thing, is that maybe I do go back to shorter, more regular episodes launching every Wednesday. And if that's something you would like to see more of, comment below and let me know. But what can I tell you about Good Rats here in the year 2023? Many of you remember when I was here in the Salon Suite, Salons by JC in Milford, Connecticut, in Suite 41, just down the hall. This is Suite 8. This is my, my newly obtained, decorated, and built out production studio hair care center. And it's 107 square feet of Good Rats glory. And I really don't mean that in any exaggerated way possible because that's how I feel about Suite 8. Our old, our old chair, desk, and mirror, those are here with us, just like we've always had. The good old sticker toolbox, which is my right side, my workstation, it's with us. We have a lot of throwbacks on the wall to shops of previous years. We have all of the photos and decorations that we all remember lined up behind me in an almost carbon copy setting to the big shop. Why am I here back in the suites after being out on my own for four years? The simple answer is life changed. In May 2022, the big shop caught on fire, blew out the electrical grid, and I was forced, I was displaced during the shop repair time, which was lengthy. And so I decided at that point, my dream of coming back to the suites and building a new production suite, it was time to make that dream come true. And here we are. July 26, 2022 was my first day of work here in Suite 8. After building the room, painting the room, bringing in the furniture, getting the chair set up, I began working here as if I never left. And yeah, this is a different room. This is Suite 8, Suite 41, where we started Good Rats. That's right down the hall, but nothing feels different, even though everything is different. I came back into the salon suites with such an excitement, with such a hunger to do hair again, that it felt like I did many years ago when I started this journey of doing hair professionally. There's something magical about this building. There's something magical about this salon and being around my friends here in the salon suites, again, with new friends, really means so much to me. And for you guys, it really shows the development of this, this community that we started building from kind of a silly joke. To be honest, for those of you who don't know, the name Good Rats was sort of a tongue-in-cheek thing that I came up with many, many years ago. When I was in beauty school, I, I had this statement once with some friends where I said, it would be really funny that once I get licensed, I start a shop called Good Rats Barbershop. Well, what started as a joke based on the Dropkick Murphy song, Good Rats, I turned into an idea. And many of you back in the Sweet 41 days said you should name it Good Rats Barbershop because you call us Good Rats. And that's true. My close friends, my dear associates, and, and I would refer to all of them as Good Rats. People would often come up to me and say, hey, you need to meet so-and-so, Phil. They're a really good rat. And that group over there that you just presented to, they're a bunch of good rats. And so it seemed like in those early stages of my hair career, 
Seeing on the wall Mr. Phil Hovey in black text on a white background seemed so forced and pretentious. I never really thought of it as what I wanted for myself. And so Good Rats Barbershop and Social Club, the original logo as you see here, was born. We then took down all the Mr. Phil Hovey hair specialist products in the shop, menus, price points, all of the promotional materials, threw them away, and then replaced them with the now so familiar white on black Good Rats logo. And over the years it changed. We had a few iterations of the logo and we now have Scissor Face, the legendary Scissor Face created by CJ. We now have going on, geez, years of Good Rats history. And that means so much to me, bringing it back to the very building where it began. And I know I'm a few feet down the hall from the original room, Suite 41, where Good Rats was created. But here in Suite 8, Good Rats lives on. And for all of you that come to me to cut your hair, I am so grateful that you're here with me. And for those of you that have been with me for all these years, through all the different changes, and have seen Good Rats grow and develop, I am so grateful for you. And that brings me to this, this point in my Rat Chat episode today where what are we going to talk about in future episodes? It's really all things Good Rats community. As talking to the camera here, mic'd up in my room, standing in front of the, the gear, it feels good. It feels really good to have contact with the greater community of Good Rats out there that I might not see regularly one-on-one -on -one when I have an idea, a thought, an update. But that's what Rat Chat has always been. It's my way to deliver to you those very updates and thoughts. And in future episodes, we'll talk more about what I'm doing with this room, the plans I have as a production studio, because you can't see it here. However, I've got a few really cool surprises rigged up in this room for lights. So that way right now I'm being lit by my on the wall customizable boom arm for video lighting. Over there above me, I have my studio flash for headshot, hair, and beauty photography. And to camera right, you can't see it, I have a spotlight lighting up my back wall. And these are the things that I've built into Suite 8 to give me the most flexibility as a media creator to share my creations with you, the Good Rats community. I hope you are all well. I hope you are all enjoying this return to Rat Chat, and I promise you that there will be more regular episodes coming. But for now, in the comments below, let me know what are some of the things that you favor about Good Rats, and what are some of the things that you look forward to having covered in future episodes of Rat Chat. Until then, folks, once more, I am so grateful and thankful for all your encouragement, energy, support, and love that you've shown me in Good Rats Hair Workshop over these years and I'm excited, I'm excited for more of that. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Phil signing off.